And now joining me here on March Madness, March Madness 365, Porter Mosier, the new head coach of Oklahoma. Uh, Porter, I'll be honest. I thought if you were going to leave Loyola, I thought it was going to be DePaul, Marquette, maybe somewhere in the Big Ten. Uh, I'm surprised. Why Oklahoma? You know, just it started when I, 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 I talked to the athletic director, Joe Castiglione. He was um, just, just the, you know, just right away kind of knew like how OU was wired. They're just wired with a lot of energy to, to win and to sustain, sustain success the right way. They want to, I mean, they were just about uh, things that aligned with what I wanted to do. And uh, the Big 12 conference, I mean, just, just you know, one of the top conferences in the country. And uh, to be um, at a place where, you know, they've sustained success in all sports, top to bottom. And, uh, but that alignment with Joe and then <clears throat> is, is just such a, it was such a clear picture for me when I started diving into Oklahoma. Look, you've had chances. We know this. I mean, after the Final Four, you love Loyola Chicago. Yeah. Um, and I will say this, that, and, and I'm hoping we're in a new era where people can leave and people can celebrate what they did, both the individual and the school. And I feel like there's a mutual love there between the two. So before we even go to Oklahoma, I just want to just sort of, you know, bathe in that a little bit here that yeah. there's just great respect. You loved it. They loved you. And I, I got that sense with this departure. No question about it. And this has nothing to do about where I'm going, you know, in terms of how I feel is 100%. I, I loved the people at Loyola. I love the players, the family, I love the culture we built. And that won't go away. There, there's just unequivocally, the, the, the players that I've coached the last 10 years, the parents, it's just been overwhelming, the, you know, just the communication we've had. And um, that'll never go away. Reunions for the rest of our lives, um, friendships for the rest of our lives. I love Chicago. And that'll never go away. And that's something that, um, you know, we are, we feel great about what we did. We feel great at how we left it and that Drew's taken over, you know, that, that, that it's going to continue because when you invest in something that much for 10 years, it is hard to, to walk away. It is, it's very hard to walk away. And it was just, you know, so many people the last three or four years say, oh yeah, you got to do this, you got to do that. And it's not as simple when, when you, when the, when you built something and you love something like you did. And so that is, I do feel that way about the people at Loyola. Um, they were just the fan base, unreal, the city of Chicago and the former players. That is just, it was a very, and it is a very special family. And, uh, um, and I'm looking forward to building that in the next place. And, uh, but that just because I'm moving on doesn't mean I'll ever not have that place in my heart for, for Loyola. So I got to know, I mean, how was that conversation when you told Sister Jean? Okay, so the, I, I just talked to Sister Jean the other day as well. So when I called her, it was almost like, she's like, I don't want to hear, I don't want to, <laughs> you know, it was one of those. And then, so we, she didn't want to talk right away. And then uh, she wrote me, you know, normally she emails me after every game. She wrote me a two-page letter, handwritten, sent me to Oklahoma. And then we, we just talked this week for 30 minutes and just, just great emotions and great feelings, uh, admiration, the love for each other. So that is, she just absolutely wished my kids the best, Megan and my, uh, myself. Um, and uh, she, she said she's not entering the transfer portal, um, but she did say that uh, as long as we're not playing the Ramblers, her prayers are going to be sent, sent our way. But uh, obviously I'm, I'm not naive enough. If we play the Ramblers, I mean, she's going to like hex, hex the sooner. So that, that, that's, that's for sure. I'll tell you this, Porter. She sent me an email, and I was blown away by it. I mean, yeah. unsolicited, she sent me an email um, about how much she's enjoyed talking to me. And, yeah. like, I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, here, this woman's 101 years old. We talked four years ago. We talked again. She remembered me like that. And, I, I mean, I just I love the fact that she sent that to me. I was so moved that she took the time to do that there's no one like her i mean there's no one like her and she um she just um she is her memory her her she's so sharp and uh she has so much love to give to other people and uh but she is sharp she, i mean she wrote the forward of my book not that this is a a, a, a shameless ply uh, for my that's book. okay we, we we take shameless plugs. We, we, we can do that she wrote yeah. the forward of my book 
Um, but she's just, uh, she's just, she's an amazing person.